I'm Ben Davies. I'm Macy McLean. All right, so I'm not ashamed. Can you tell uh, our viewers at home what uh, the premise or the plot is about? Yeah, absolutely. You want to take this one? Yeah, so it's the true story of Rachel Joy Scott at Columbine High School, and it follows her journey of faith and then her struggles up until she died when she was 17. She was killed for her faith. Uh, so that's the journey that you'll see in I'm Not Ashamed. I heard about that story. That's, that's very tragic. So how did you guys approach it in a sensitive but, you know, kind of firm manner? Well, it's, it's so difficult because with a tragic story like that, it's, it's devastating to, like, hear about and to watch. But also throughout, you know, history, always the most tragic times also can produce the most hope because it's such inspiring stories that can come from those experiences. And that's exactly what happened with Rachel Joy Scott because, you know, she wasn't a perfect person. She didn't, like, live the perfect life, but you could see the inspiration, the people that she touched around her throughout her experience in high school because she kept these detailed journals. So this is the first movie. I've, I've done 17 feature films now, and this is the first movie I've, I've ever done that is so accurate to the actual encounter because it's not hearing someone talk about it. It's reading the journals for yourself and then putting it to film. So it's been an experience that I'm so glad to be a part of. I haven't seen the film, of course, but the, does it really include the, the scene itself? The, the, I guess the attack? Well, it's a really, it's a tough subject matter to address because, um, because obviously there's shooting involved, but we were so fortunate, really, because of the way the, uh, the events took place that we don't have to go into any of the details of what happened after they entered the school. So we're fortunate that we don't have to show that to tell her story because her story is really about her life, not about her death. So that's really what we focus on in the movie. Well, tonight we're here for Hillsong. Uh, which Hillsong songs are your favorite? Um, Touch the Sky and Prince of Peace. Love's War. That's mine. <laughs> so why do you think Hillsong has been loved over the years and why did your songs so resonate to all the I think it's the lyrics they put into their music. You know, they're not just doing catchy jingles. They're putting words out there for people to hear that are inspiring no matter who you are cross-culturally. You know, no matter your gender, age, or whatever, everyone can relate to those messages that they talk about and that they preach about really through their music. And that's the reason I think they really elevated themselves. Yeah, I think too, um, they, they sit and they stay in the presence of God, and I think that makes all the difference. So that, I think that's why they're, they're at where they are today. So 2016 has been a tumultuous year, politically and socially. Uh, is, I mean, people might ask, where does hope or where does Jesus fit into all this? Jesus can be found everywhere, especially in the valleys. That's when you become closer to God, when you have to lean the most on Him. And in times like this, when there's so many trials and tribulations going around politically, socially, whatever, that's when you can lean the most on them. And that's where even the Bible says that's where you're going to grow in the most faith. So, you know, it's happening all around us. And you can see it right now with movies like this coming out, that this is where hope's going to start as well. And I can't wait to see the way that, that really the country's going to respond to this movie. Yeah, and I would say, I mean, life is always going to be hard. There's always going to be hard years and difficult and death. We're all going to die no matter what. But the difference is Jesus. And the difference is that we have hope at the end of the day. And I think that's what the most amazing thing about this movie is. So we're so excited to go in and watch it. I can't wait. Well, thank you so much. And enjoy the night, okay? Thank you, man. Thank you so much.